Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Core Keeper. And as you can see, I've made quite a few massive renovations to my base. Can you tell what it is? Anything standing out at all? Uh? Hmm? Um, that's right, right here. I've got I've moved my my cook pots down here, and the chests that have the ingredients as well as the cooked items are inside here, nice and cozy. I know it's a massive change. Uh, I hope it doesn't. It's not too jarring for you. I know you're used to them being up here, you know. But now they're down here, so if you need to pause the video, get up, splash some water in your face, get a cup of coffee, go for a walk, and kind of recenter yourself after this shocking development. Uh, you go ahead and do that, because uh, if you interact with the video to pause it in any way, shape, or form, that makes the algorithm happy because you touch something. So I encourage that. But anyways, welcome back to Core Keepers full release. This is episode two. We uh, did a little bit of exploring around the dirt biome. Uh, we found Glurch. He's down here somewhere. So we're going to leave a marker on here so I know where to go to for future reference. And uh, the plan originally, like I said at the end of the video, was to uh, kind of expand my base a little bit. But I didn't do that. I said I was going to, but I opted for something a little different. Because of the fact that there's so much new stuff in this new version of Core Keeper, I really don't want to do any off-camera stuff. I really kind of want to go through and explore everything together. What I was doing in the early access stuff was I was kind of briefly perusing through a biome, and then uh, I would basically do 99% of the rest of it off-camera. Because I was trying to rush, I'm not gonna lie, I was in a hurry, hauling ass, you might say, because 1.0 was right around the corner. So now I'm gonna try to take things a little slower, try to see more of the things that there is to see, because there's a... Uh, those of you that watch the early access stuff, there is a lot of things you didn't see. So get ready for some excitement. At the very least, there's gonna be some new secrets, structures, and whatnot to come across. I'm excited about that. So let's just kind of take a poke around here. We're gonna try to level up some of our uh, our stats and whatnot. Bring out the summons. I do see the big guy over there. What's that there popping around in the background? Is that a thing? I thought I saw a purple glow. I'll try not to do too much of the same old monotonous stuff that I always do. We're gonna keep trying to move forward until I can find something stupendous and wonderful. Wonderpendous. Wonderpendous. That's one of the new words for you today. I try to see what all we can find out here in the dirt lands. Hopefully something new, a new structure, maybe a music room. What do we have up here? Oh, maybe that is exactly what we just found. <laughs> okay. All right, now it's time to start getting checked out here because I think I can predict the future. Well, there is a music room, but I think you need uh, what is an ocarina to actually get in here. I don't think you can just waltz on in, unfortunately. So, uh, for the time being, uh, I'm just going to explore the surrounding areas. But that is what this is. This is a music room. Can't break it. Mining damage is too low. The secret used to be for rooms like this is honestly you could take a hammer and swing it and because of the radius you'd be able to hit the things on the inside. Actually with the pull that you would get from like loot pickup range you wouldn't actually have to open the door. Saves me a little bit of trouble there you know looking for an ocarina but I don't have a hammer. I never have a hammer. There is no hammer. Hammer is a lie. Also brought my rod out this time. And I mean that in a very normal, not disgusting way, despite the fact that my mind went there immediately. <laughs> hey -oh. and I'm gonna do some fishing along the way because I am still convinced that there's gonna be goodies to find out here, okay? I know there is. I know there's secrets in them waters, okay? Before even we get down to the sunken sea at the very bottom or wherever it ends up at this time. Oh boy, all the herbs over here. I would like to find some cool stuff though. Show me the cool stuff. I saw hydras. Are there any dirt hydras? Probably not. I would hope not, because that'd be kind of horrifying. I'm not ready for a boss. Especially since we're in hard mode. I was fully expecting to go charge off into uh, fight and glurch, but now I'm kind of scared of it. At least I got some new power this time around. I've heard that magic is definitely busted. Not sure if it still is, because I think they snuck a few update patches in since the game came out. As you do. I'm kind of wondering why I'm not getting any of the uh, the non-fish related things. I mean, I guess I can't complain. Why is there so much fish in this water? Oh my god. I've been fishing forever and now I, I <laughs> there's only fish in this water. Like, I, I can't really, you know, get mad about that. You know, I want loot too, though, you know? Oh, I forgot my doggo leveled up. Here we go. Uh, ooh, chance to deal triple damage. Okay. Damage against bosses. Damage on hit to deal triple damage. Hmm. We're gonna go triple damage, because, you know, I'm not fighting bosses all the time, but I'm always fighting 
uh, uh, whatever mushrooms, whatever I'm coming across now. I never named the dog, by the way. I probably shouldn't name it. What shall I name him? We'll go with Fido for now. But I want you to come up with a name for me. Give me some pet names. Leave me something in the comment below. Within reason, please don't be disgusting. At least if you're going to be disgusting, do it in a funny way, okay? And I know that those of you that leave pet names in the description actually made it the first five minutes in, because statistically speaking, the majority of you don't. Because, you know, the time to get into Let's Plays was 15 years ago, and here we are just a little bit too late. Hey, <laughs> It's fine, though. If this doesn't work out for me, I'm getting into radio broadcasting. That's what this feels like more than anything, honestly, though. I'm just kind of running around doing nonsense talking. That's what this is for me. I'm just gonna sit here and get all my words out, because I ain't got no friends. Just <laughs> sit here talk to all of you fine folks. That's what we'll do. I kind of do wonder if maybe they made it that the only way you could really get any non-fish related things from fishing is to just go straight into the water. I should probably focus on making a bait station then. Then in tandem with my garden, I can make myself some decent bait, because I think it was the, uh... I want to say the glow tulip bait that made it so that you could get non-fish items that increases the likelihood for them to drop. I don't remember exactly. Could be wrong, though. Don't remember, really. Oh, what's that up there? Looks like we finally got ourselves a treasure room. Oh, fancy. Oops, food's getting low. Time eats more fish bowls. All right, let's see what we got inside of here. All kinds of goodies, I'm sure. Only goodies. Got some blue gems which thus far I have not seen any new uses for. Everything looks about the same so far. I'm waiting to hear the, uh, the gorm rumblings out there in the wild wilderness. And we'll be getting close to the separation here. Oh, I got some iron. Okay. Don't really need any iron right now, but that's okay. I got a pet treat, too. Feed that to the doggo. To the good boy. No chests or anything here. Mining damage is too low. There's nothing I can really do to that, so... I guess that's that, then. No super secrets. I did get a little bit of iron, though. Don't have a use for it, but I did get some. We'll uh, eat some of that. Where did the thing go? That's probably what this episode's gonna be, and a lot of what we do going forward here. Might be relaxing. Those of you that watch my Valheim Let's Play know my style. I'm not really ever in a big hurry to get anything done. I'm a lazy gamer. I guess you could call it that a little bit, I suppose. I'm just doing stuff, you know? This is this is my engagement. This is me turning my brain off, you know what I mean? That's what you should do. I don't think I've played any kind of games with, you know, with a purpose, you know what I mean, for a long time. Not since I were but a wee lad. If you're looking for high-octane gaming and you're new here, sorry to disappoint you, but if you're just looking to relax, maybe put on some background noise. Everybody's going back to school now. I'm sure you've got homework to do. Those of y'all that are in college or, you know, below or above, whatever you do in your free time, I'm sure you got work to do. You know, gotta get that floor vacuumed, gotta get that laundry done, gotta get that bed made, get that homework taken care of, you better get dinner cooked, they're almost home. Or maybe you're door dashing today, maybe that's what you like to do. Whatever. Whatever, man. And you see, this meandering around is why uh, I make, you know, two-hour-long recordings. That's This is why, right here. Because I don't do anything quickly. <laughs> Oh, that looks like the Gorm Tunnel right there. That's definitely it. And if I remember correctly... Yep, this is the Forgotten Ruins. I wonder if I could sneak in. I'm gonna take a look around see what there is to see. I'm kind of worried I'm gonna bump into something I don't want to see. Oh, there's a Rock Carrot. Hell yeah, we'll start growing those. That's some good defense food there. 100%. Or, yeah, Rock Carrots. I see... I keep saying... I keep saying that. I don't mean to. Oh, I wonder if, um, okay, so at the very end, spoiler alert for those of you that are curious, I guess, the big boss down in the Sunken Sea, the, the end game big boss, not Amaroth, was able to break these stone boulders, and then when they broke, it would drop all of the ore held within them. I wonder if there is a way to steer Gorm into doing the same thing. I'm curious. I'm not confident in that. I don't think that that's actually going to work, but I do want to give it a try. Maybe it'll blow up my face. Who knows? I have to remember that for next time. Remember that's over here. Remind me that that's over here in like four episodes when we finally get to Gorm. Oh, what's this? Shroomy territory. Oh, God. All right, now I got to bring the big boys out. Here we go. Don't let him hit you. That's a bad time. I got to take the little guys out and then they'll focus on the big one. Yep. Now, these guys aren't so bad. They do hit really, really friggin' hard, but they're not terrible. Just let them do their thing. Oh boy. Big explodey. Big ol' explodey doty. Oh, and we killed them. Another potion? I like that. Oh, here he comes. Here's Gormy. And get a look at him. There he goes. You can kind of see him. 
Oh yeah, there he is. Kind of get a glove something out of the corner there. Those of you that don't know what he looks like. Big worm. Now I'm kind of worried about actually making any kind of spawning area with these little mushroom ground things here. Because I really don't want those, uh, them little dudes. Well, them, them not so little dudes, I guess. The giant mushrooms. Mushroom brutes or whatever they're called. Don't want them knocking my walls down in a mob farm. All right, I guess we're kind of hitting a dead end here. Not really a dead end, but I'm, I'm full inventory here. So before I go too far out, we're going to go back, drop some stuff off. And then I'm going to come back right here. I'm going to leave a little marker here for myself. So I know where I was. I think that's a smart thing to do. We're going to head home. All right, and we're back. Just like that. Look, you didn't even have to see any of the grindy downtime stuff. You didn't miss very much. Just a bunch of throwing stuff in places and doing things with them. Which, uh, you know, that sums up the whole adventure, I guess. Boy, oh boy. I kind of don't want to be there. Right on top of that big pile of pain. I think I'm good. Dude, I'm really open to find his access to more tin, but I just don't think I'm going to end up finding that in the dirt biome. Pretty sure all I'm going to find here is ancient gems and copper. That's about it. I have found other ore, rarely, but uh, not very frequently. Let's, uh, you know, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way, uh, way around the outer layer here, if I can speak correctly. And yeah, that sounds like a good uh, good use of time. Try to find something wonderful out here. Maybe, probably not. There's the clay caves. Oh boy, I can still break these in two blocks, so they changed that a little bit. I don't really remember that being so easy. Throw a little bit more sauce into crafting there. We need some more fire. Need to be able to see with the fire. Gotta be about something else around here to see, right? It's gotta be. Just gotta be. Something on the outskirts, something rare, something unique and special. There's always secrets in the other biomes. I know what all of them are. I'm curious to see what the uh, the new things that they might have added for the other classes, perhaps. Because remember, there's a good bow, good sword, good armor set, right? I'm curious to see what they've added since then. Twisted agate. I got some gold. See, in them there boxes, that's where you'll find the loot. I do say so myself. Chieftain shorts. What's that? Where'd they go? Is that a summon thing? Oh. It's not a summon thing. So what's the difference between it and Witch Doctor? Minion attack speed versus minion count. Okay. Minion lifespan, health and armor, health, magic barrier, and attack speed. So this is like no armor at all. That's like a, maybe a more damage oriented. I'm guessing more minions means more damage. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not really sure how the whole class works yet. I'm still kind of learning here a little bit. Oh God, I found the slime room. Oh, this is going to be a good spot for my minions. Tell you what. There we go. Go on, get them. Go on, get them. There we go. Points in vitality. Well, where's my points in minion ass kickery? What about that? Oh, what's that? Another ring. That looks like something I can actually wear. Crescent ring. A little bit extra mana. Okay. I'll take it. Give me something that ain't a fish. I want loot, please. I guess points in fishing. I think this is the highest my fishing has ever been. <laughs> Wasn't really sure where to put points in fishing as I was leveling up, but I do remember that one of the, the talents eventually lets you learn like a passive dodge chance. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. So I can always have dodge. I kind of like some of the other stuff. Damage against bosses when eating cooked fish. That's kind of good. Fishing damage added is range damage. Doesn't really help me so much unless I'm using ranged. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of a waste of a point. I might not go all the way to the end of that tree. So I'll try to max it out, though. I'd like to max them all out if I can do it. Don't know for sure that I will, but I'd like to give it a try. Now, this is a conundrum. I think I went to Meticulous Miner last time. To get additional ore from walls containing ore. But I don't really remember getting that much. Maybe I remember a little bit differently. Uh, I don't know. The movement speed boost after hitting a wall was good. Drop a valuable item from any mined wall. I'm not going to get anywhere near that, probably. Mining speed, explosive damage. Durability on your tool when breaking walls containing ores. Hmm. So, more durability only when mining ore blocks or chance to gain additional ore. I feel like that might be better. I might have to go with Meticulous Miner again. Getting a little bit of extra ore. I can't say for sure whether I'm going to get it, but you know, uh, you know, it's good to have, I guess. All right, we're full again. Second verse, same as the first. Go back, drop stuff off, and then I think I'm going to come back and go one of these other directions. I haven't really gone up north very much or down south, so we're going to go one of those two. See we can find down in those places. All right, we're really, really far down south now. I did a little bit of things back at the base, dropped off all that good stuff, made myself a tin pickaxe which is actually blasting through all this good stuff. Um, we're just uh, kind of moving right on along here. 
it looks like we're kind of going to do a lot of the same that we were doing up north is just kind of like skirting along the forlorn ruins. But I do see this little house down here, which I believe is a part of the forlorn ruins, or maybe they also spawn in the dirt biome. I don't know. We're going to check it out, though. See if there's anything new inside there. Perhaps something new for mages so that I may have more infinite power. Or, you know, maybe it'll be a waste of my time. Oh, good. Caveling sorcery. Maybe I can get a fireball staff. Wouldn't that be something? What do I got here? Cross necklace. Crit chance. Sign me up. Gotta be careful, though. I don't want to get fireballed. Ha-ha! You're stunned! What now? Ha-ha! You've been defeated! And Skull Shard. Okay, excellent. Now I'm gonna be getting all kinds of junk from over here. I'm already sure of it. Just do what I did last time. Just kind of skirt around the outskirts and do whatever needs to be done to survive. That's what we do. Okay, copper stuff to break down. More snacks for the good boy. <laughs> I'm gonna bring these tall torches with me because I like using them for decoratives. Being that they are decorative torches, I like to use them for exactly what they're for. Oh God. Oh God. I surrender! I surrender! Run away! Help! Escape! Escape! Oh, got an iron key. I wonder if I'll get an iron chest now. Ah! I'm just trying to skirt your borders here. I'm not trying to do anything. Oh! I bet you that doesn't feel good. I don't want to find out either. I'm good. I don't need to find out. Oh, that's crazy. Of course I would. You know, that's almost too good not to use. Burn damage on hit, chance to consume target's burning effect, and deal the total burning damage immediately. Oh, is it worth sacrificing? I'll sacrifice the minion attack speed. 100%. Ah! Ah! Oh god, how about got got? I'll light him on fire, though. I mean, that's good. I got fire power, literally, now. It's not what I wanted to do, but I am finding things and I can't help myself. What's this? Ooh. Oh ho 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 ho! Finding the good stuff, yeah! So, that's very expensive magic weapon right there. Well, not very expensive, but it's more expensive. I'll use the Ring of Rock for sure, though. Now I got even more mining damage, because I got the RING OF ROCK! Ahem, <clears throat> pardon. So, what's this, then? Just a regular old iron chest. Well, would you look at that? I've been down here for all of five seconds, and I'm already full. Great. Maybe I'll use that in place of magic. That might be a good magic set. And then uh, I did find the apprentice hat, which looks cool, but I'm probably not going to use it. But uh, we got the fireball staff here. I bet you I already know this is going to be a fun time. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with this. This is going to be my musket. What are the odds that I kill two caveling sorcerers down here, right? And I get both of their rare drops immediately. What are the odds? I'm just too good at this. Well, now I believe I have the firepower to take down Glurch 110%, so we're gonna go back, drop off all this stuff again. We've upgraded to pepper wraps again, you know, I'm back on that stuff right there, I'm back on the pepper sauce. Oh, nope, 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 Matt here, sorry, <laughs> hey buddy, I didn't mean to go that way. That was a mistake. Nope, I don't have time to wait, I just gotta go. They're fighting each other, we're out of here. I'm gonna take that with me, though. That could have loot in it. I'm terrified to stop, because there could be bad guys behind me. Yep, zippity doo dah, zippity a, my oh my, I'm gonna run away. My god, we're back already, sweet peppermint Jesus. Oh, hello! Who are you, Mr. <laughs> you must be the, uh, the holiday merchant. I didn't think you could spawn outside of a holiday, but I guess you can. I put the calendar up here, I got a little house going. I was just decorating. I not really think much of it, but okay, sure. I won't question that. Well, I need to move you then, because I've got to get an actual NPC that is actually useful in there soon. Oh, I suppose I should work on construction of uh, better base components here. Probably should. Boy, oh boy. You know, I kind of want the wizard hat. I'm going to use the dresser finally. We're going to customize here. We're going to cosmetize and have the wizard hat anyway. I don't even know if I have a key to open that lock chest. I might. I got a lot of junk laying around in a lot of different places, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got so much. I got so much key. And hammer. Nope, that's... You see, now that's not a hammer. You see, whenever I said a hammer, I kind of wanted there to be a hammer. And since there wasn't one, I guess you could say that I'm a little disappointed right now. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I've got a good bit of sauce here. I've got myself a whole host of good potions and food that I can use. 
stuff to really bolster magic, movement speed, all that good stuff. The classic hearty pepper wrap. And uh, I think I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna use, I might end up using a sort of a magic set here. I did get a heartberry necklace a while ago, which I think you might have seen while opening this. I, I think I just got it out of a random piece of the wall there, but I did pick one of those up. Or I don't know, I might end up using the minion stuff here. I have to find out. I think maybe this might be the best for defense and maybe magic for offense. Since with minions, you know, you can kind of throw them out there and not really have to worry about it. They'll do the work for you. But this also hits outrageously hard, right? And I can apply fire, which is, uh, you know, always a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take down Glurch, which I'm very confident that I can do. Pretty sure. He's right down there. I'm going to try to sneak around him. I think I tried to take down King Slime as well, but I actually haven't seen any of his summoning stuff yet. Assuming that the crossover stuff is still in the game, I have no doubt that it is, but I just haven't found it yet. I wonder if explosive damage works against the Brutes, by the way. I'm curious. Oh, yeah. Fire works just fine. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ballman, no more sidetracking. It's time to go to work. Let's head down there and take down the boss man. I am rather slowed, but with movement speed from the pepper wraps, I should be good to go. So we're going to start out guns blazing here. Clear the area a little bit. And I'm going to try to move my way down there and blast them. So let's go ahead and we'll take all the food. Nom, nom, nom. 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 Open fire. Ooh. Oh my god, you jump far. Is that a, uh, is that a change? Is that a new thing? Uh oh. Okay, yeah, he's gonna die. Oh my god, I might die though. Oh Jesus, go, 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 gotta go fast. Oh my god. Okay. Woo! He's dead. Tuck him down pretty handy. Woo! Hey, it's that guy. I about killed him. Sorry about that, Mr. Miner Man. I was hiding inside of him. Oopsie daisy. You know, maybe that's what the people that were playing this meant whenever it just came out. Everybody was like, oh my god, magic is so overpowered. I wonder if that's what they meant as the magic being overpowered was using a broken item against the boss that was not meant for. Oh my god, okay. Well, he's dead. That'll be that. Now I got this. What have I found? So there's Glurchai. We got that. Slime oil to move the NPC in. A crescent ring for more mana. Oozy egg. We've got Ranger Tunic and a Ranger Hood. Well, I've got a full Ranger set now. How about them apples? Full Ranger set for the first time in forever. I have never actually uh, used that. So now I have piercing? Oh, I do. Oh, that's cool. That's actually kind of handy. Good for dealing with slims. I could probably farm some slime down here while I'm at it. No luck finding uh, any of the King Slime stuff, though. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, what is that down there? Well, there's definitely a thing down here. What have I found? So all the secrets were down south. I was going the wrong way. Okay, we got to deal with this first. Going to head back, take care of this business. Uh, I'm going to give myself extra mana there. Throw that on there, leave that alone. Um, we might use... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's so many items and I don't know where to put them all. Kind of overpowered a little bit here. I am Fireball Man. The menace of slime everywhere. All right, let's go back home. Um, I, like I said, was not expecting that dude to move in here, so we're gonna move him out. We're gonna, we're gonna just, there we go, we're gonna, we're gonna disappear you. Pardon me. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go away. Goodbye. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Come on. Despawn. Why don't you die? Why don't you die? <laughs> Ah, damn you! I just want the beardy boy in here! Get out! Oh, I'd fine. He won't die. He refuses. Am I leveling up melee by doing that? I don't even know. Tch. Okay, fine. Well, I guess I gotta give a new house to the other guy then. God. Fine, fine, fine. I shall give a new house to the other guy. God, you gotta do so much. So much for these people. You can't just die and be replaced. Gotta go the extra mile, I guess. Lucky I don't stuff the guy in a box and forget about him. I'm gonna stick you in a van down by the river. You understood that reference, you get a veteran's discount. All right, a little bit of off-camera work there again. And in case you're wondering what you're missing whenever I do that, it's mostly just things like this, readjusting things, moving stuff around, doing the a little bit of gardening up here. You're not really missing much. You know, maybe doing some cooking, 
making uh, even more pepper wraps and even more varietals of jello leveling things up. That's really it. That's what I don't show, because you've kind of already seen it. You know what I mean? 101 million times. I'm making a little bit of magic food because I figure probably going to want it. Mm, I don't know. Glowing guppy fillet sounds like a really, really good food item for mage, but then so does blue pepper wrap. This increases mana regen, though. Uh, this increases movement speed, and it increases uh, barrier as well, which could be good for just in general, I guess. I don't know. I'm really, like, a big fan of the pepper wraps. I can't help it. As much as I'd love to move on to other foodstuffs and try to figure out what the best one is, being able to run fast is, like... Really, really handy, so I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I moved these chests behind it. These are the storage item chests right here. Just kind of condense them, move some things around. Since I brought the merchant over here, I uh, basically just put a lot of more uh, the crafting stuff, like the building components over here. Took some of the tools I use over here. You know, got it in his house, so he's got a nice little cozy abode here. So I have more room for storage. And I kind of want to try to make a, a sort of more condensed base like this. Keep all the things in the places where the things go. If only I had like a, a quick stack button or something like that, then it'd be a lot better. But uh, as of right now, unfortunately, uh, we have no such thing. So let us move on with the next stage of progression here, which is going to be popping Glurch's gem in here. There we go. And what have we unlocked? So we've got Gorm the Devourer scanner, Malagaz the Corrupted scanner, and a slime sword, which I think we saw a little bit of before, and I think I'm able to make? I'm not entirely certain. I don't know if I have a whole lot of slime, because I've been using pretty much uh, all that I'm getting for healing potions now. Figure that's gonna be pretty handy. It does not appear as though I have slims. I do not have slim. At least I don't think I do. No, I do not, so I can't make the sword, but that's fine. We're not really going a melee route anyway, but, uh... Target's movement speed could be pretty handy. Doesn't really work for Gorm, though. Uh, Gorm is easy enough to find. Finding Malagaz, listen, this item right here is something I've dreamed of. Those of you that have gone looking for Malagaz's little arena, I guess, out there in the forlorn ruins, know the pain of running in circles across the entirety of that biome, trying to find this damn thing. It's really bad. <laughs> So, I'm not even gonna bother with that yet. Would I Actually, you know what, I think I can make one, though. Uh, let me see, where is this and this? I can make one. We're gonna make a scanner for him right now, so I know at least the direction to head to. Directly down south. Okay, there he is. And then Gorm kind of moves its way around. If I make that, maybe I'll be able to track it a little better. Yeah, it does move with him, so you can kind of see where he's at. So whenever I'm crossing, I can kind of know. At least that way I won't get any giant worm jump scares, you know what I mean? I don't want any of that business. So now that I've crammed all this stuff over here, is there anything else that I can make before I move on to any other exploring? I saw a couple of things around uh, Glurch's arena up there I'd really like to take a look at. Is there anything else I can make? Am I able to make an automation table? Do I have the bars. I do not. I'm missing one, unfortunately. So I need one more tin, and I'm actually able to make that, and I can start drilling. I have everything else, though. I haven't made a music workbench, which I guess I could make, but uh, I don't really feel much of a strong need for that. Probably because I upgraded my stuff, I reinforced them. Now it's not gonna work. Damn. Oh well. We'll find some down here. I'm gonna head back down to... I just passed Glurch's little area here. Moving on along. I really should kill stuff on my way over. Might let my minions do all that kind of work for me. I think I'm going to switch to minions. Summoning them does reduce durability here, but it's a lot slower than with using any other tools. Kind of makes explorinating a little bit better. Bop. All right, so the first thing that I saw was up north. Way up here. All the way up tippy top. I saw it on the top left. It was another ruin. Look inside of it. Nope, that's the camp. Where? Oh, it was all the way over here, I think. Wrong direction. Oopsie daisy. Oh, there it is. I found it. There it is. Another one of those. Another chest. Don't mind if I do. Like me to find a nice chest. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we got down here? What do we got in the thing in the place here? We can start collecting some valuables, getting some resources. What do we have? Money. Don't mind if I do. Ancient chest. Hey, you know what? A chest is a chest. Little planter boxes here for decorations. We can take them with us. My goal is to have a massive palatial base by the end of this journey. Like one of them ones that you see on the Reddit or on the Discord with all the different shiny rooms and the, and the shimmering frontier water everywhere. 
Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I want all that good stuff. I want to be one of those guys. Then maybe I'll post it on there and, I, and then somebody will love me. I mean, uh, yeah, then I'll have a good base and, uh, <clears throat> Hey, would you look at that? It's a giant mushroom. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers, Bowsers. All right, where's that big thing at right there? Uh, big mushroom increases health when eaten. So now I have permanent health increase. That's good. And, uh, I think I had that before I fought What's-His-Face last time. But this time, we're just going right on in, guns blazing. All right, move on back down, and we'll go look at the other thing that was down in the south. Well, look at that. What are the odds? Just bump into that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? I just find it down there. And I believe the other little secret area was down this a ways. It looked like uh, sort of kind of the stuff we saw on the Shimmering Frontier. At the very end, one of those little platforms. I kind of wonder if that might be the same thing. If I remember how to get down there. It was down there, yeah. I actually have to go past his base. Looks like a super duper secret. Part of me kind of wishes that the bosses passively respawned over time. That'd be kind of nice. That way I could keep farming them, because I know that there are items from Glurch beyond just, like, the regular stuff that you, you get every time, like the chest and all that. There are other special items that drop. Slime-related things that I never see, because I never need to fight them that much. All right, what do we have here? Ancient Ruin. What is this? A waypoint? Oh! Okay! That's new! A teleporter? Well, don't mind if I do! My god! All kinds of snazzy stuff here. Tell you what, pretty fancy. Use that to go back to the base. I'll definitely do that. I'm uh, full inventory again, so we're gonna do that. Alright, teleport away we go! Oh, it's just that easy, huh? Just a quick pop over, eh? I wonder if there's a cooldown time on it. No, it doesn't look like there is. That's cool, though. I like that. Teleport right next to his uh, little arena there. Not like it's a far walk, but, you know. Teleporting's always nice. Oh, did I say that I only needed three of those now, then? So I have the ability to make this? This, I'm pretty sure, just makes Malagaz's little summon item there that you gotta plop down to get him to show up. Yeah, there we go. What do we find? Skull of the Corrupted Shaman. Okay. Cool. I like that. Um... Nice little decorative piece for the time being, anyway, but that's nice to have now, I suppose. All right, now I got some junk to sell to you. We're gonna make some big money. Big, big money here. Oh, yeah. Actually, well, uh, the skulls are actually pretty lucrative, so maybe farming them out and selling them wouldn't be so bad. 200 a pop is pretty good. Uh, I got a little bit of every ore. I think I have enough tin now I can make the automation table. Maybe that'll be where we leave it off this time. Before I get too gosh darn curried away with uh, all my explorinating. We'll just get a, a nice automation area set up. All the farming and everything that one will do with the uh, the boulders. The ore boulders. And that'll be that. What do we got here? Wizard hat? Don't need it. Thanks uh, too little too late. I appreciate it, though. What's that there? And uh, a fang necklace. Life on melee hit. Well, I don't really use melee all that much, but, uh, you know, good to have, I guess. I guess life regen on melee hit's not the worst thing to deal with. Oh darn, I'm healing whenever I punch people in the face. It's awful. I can get a curious egg too. I forgot that that, uh, it has something good in it, I think. I forget what exactly, but we're gonna buy one. Send that to the Hatcherator. The Hatchinator 6000! And we'll get a something. That thing's still going. Okay. I got that smelted, that smelted. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it's sped up a little bit, you know what I mean? Like maybe there's a little bit more, uh, smelting speed. Or maybe I've just been meandering around that long. Could be. Level up my gardening! Alright, we've got everything situated again, and I've got myself my automation table here. It doesn't look like very much has changed since, uh, last we saw it. It still make pretty much the same exact stuff. I don't know if there's gonna be upgraded versions of this later on down the line, but... I don't have the tin to make a crude drill, unfortunately, so no boulder farming just yet. Darn. But the thing I can do now, though, is maybe go down and uh, look around this teleporter down here. I'd like to use it as kind of a staging ground for uh, any mining operations down here now, if I can help it. So I'm hoping if I can find in the surrounding area, maybe an ore boulder. It'd be really nice if I could find a tin ore boulder. I think I'm pretty close to the clay caves, actually. Yes, I am actually extremely close to the uh, clay caves. Okay. Well, maybe down there I'll get lucky enough to find uh, a tin boulder or something like that, and I can save myself a little bit of pain and suffering. Oh god. Okay, these guys are a little more durable. Good thing I got that extra firepower. <laughs> but in all seriousness, no, no, very likely death could happen. Those guys are, uh, mean. 
They are mean somethings, I tell you what. Blast them with the explosion. Blammo. 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 And they're dead. Okay, just like that. See, that's how you dish out the pain. Is uh, an overpowered weapon. Oh god, this is a deep chasm here. How far do you go? Oh, you go all the way down. Oh, whoa! Big boy damage. Big boy damage. Watch out. Incoming. Take cover. Big boy damage. Whoa. No. Better watch yourself there, Buster. It's not what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. All right, we'll do this. Straight line. They got a single file, so we'll just blast them. We can do this. I got larva meat. I'm ready for action. Ah. Take him down. Open fire. Hey. Oh, boy. That's death. Right there is death. Keep blasting. Oh, whoa. Oh, keep blasting. Keep blasting. That's how we win. We win by keep blasting. Oh, God. There's more down here I thought there would be. This isn't what I wanted to do at all. I just wanted to see if there was a tin boulder. There better be one down here after all this hullabaloo. Tell you what, this tomfoolery. Rub kapok. Oh, God. You guys keep your kapokin' to yourself. What's this? Oh, big room full of bad guys, what it is. I see you down there. You don't want to sneak up on me, tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. You better back off now. Ball man's coming in with a firepower. Blammo. Ow. Said blammo. Blammo, kablammo. Aha. Aho, we found tin in the walls. Oh, yeah. What's this, skinned larva? Ew. Ugh. I don't know where I can run to. Everything's in the way. Oh, my God, everything's in the way. My God, they got this place colonized down here. This is not what I was expecting to find. They got little, like, larval spawners inside the area there, too. Oh, God. Big damage. Come on, that's what I need. My God, am I invading a city? All I wanted was a boulder. I just wanted some rocks. You guys are just giving me death. I didn't want to face full of spears. That's not what I asked for. I actually would like to never have that. I was would specifically like to avoid that. God, it's a good thing I got good armor. I'll tell you what, these guys are hitting pretty hard. I thought those mushroom people hit hard. Okay, Never, is everybody dead now? Can I have a rock yet? No, they're still alive. I guess I should remember though, there is acid up there. Okay, this is not what I planned on doing. I was actually going to call it a little earlier in the episode than I did last time, instead of running around doing all kinds of silly nonsense. We will explore the clay caves next time. See what all we can find down there. Looks like I'm gonna need the overpoweredness here, because I'm kind of getting my butt whooped a little bit here. I'll find me some kind of something for mining eventually. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. No, never mind. It's probably just the other direction, honestly. That seems to be my life in this game. Everything I'm looking for is just a few steps to the direction that I didn't go. All right, we're back home, sweet home. We'll deposit all this stuff here, and then uh, I believe that is going to be the end of the episode for me, if I do say so myself. I'm going to have to do a little bit of expanding again. I got a lot more seeds. Got a cave pouch. Actually isn't any better. Hmm. Max health would be nice, but nah, we're not that lucky. I think I already had one of those, actually, and I just didn't use it. Or maybe I did, I don't remember. Okay, we got a lot of junk we throw in there. Scrap it all. Like I said, I'll take care of all that business, and then in the next episode, we are going to deal with the clay caves, probably Gorm. Take a look at some more new stuff. Maybe do a little bit more dabbling around the dirt biome. I've explored a good chunk of it. There's uh, some places I haven't seen yet, but uh, we will see what's out there. I want to take it a little bit slower this time. I'm not trying to blitz through the biome. That's kind of why I set the difficulty up a little bit higher, because I actually don't want to just pulverize everything I encounter. That'd be kind of nice if I could take her slow. Low and slow, you know what I mean. But like I said, with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. I think we've done a good bit of stuff and things today. We've made some good progress, seen some new things, killed some new people. I got a spear rack. We'll just put her up there little bit of decoration, and everything is beautiful with the world. So with all that said and done, here standing on our new shiny pedestal, teleporty thingy, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. So, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out, I really appreciate it, and as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye